Hey guys, this is Danny. I'm just going to show you a cool trick in Photoshop my friend told me about recently. I thought it'd be pretty useful. Um, it's basically a way to quickly color things that you have line art with. So basically I can quickly color this without having to go like this forever. So let's get started. I'm in using Photoshop for those of you that don't know. Um, I have this drawing here and I have all my inks on a separate layer. Um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to look to make sure all my lines are closed in this hair area. Um, so I can see right now that this part's open. So what I'll do is just fill that in real quick. And once you make sure all your lines are closed, then you can go to a separate layer. So I'm going to go to my color layer, which is below my line art layer. Then I'll grab my color, which using the eyedropper tool, which is um, I. And then I'll go to the paint bucket tool, which you can either click on over here in your toolbar or you can push G. You might have the gradient tool selected instead. So just hold down on that area until you can select the paint bucket tool. Now with the paint bucket tool, usually when you try to color things, um, it'll just kind of look all grainy or it'll just fill the entire layer because it's not taking into consideration every layer that you have. It's just the one that you're working on. But you can change this by going up to here and there's this little button called all layers. This will take into consideration every single layer you have, including the ink, like if you have a pencil one open, like any layer that you have turned on, it's going to take that and think about it when it's like filling the color in. So I'll show you now. So my color layer, I'm going to click in this area. And since my ink layer was all filled in on a separate layer, um, it was able to just fill it in automatically without going outside the lines or filling up the entire layer with a one single color. Um, so you can just undo that. Um, you can change the color really easily. Like I can go over here, grab this color, zoom in, I can color this part. As long as that area is trapped somewhere in your Photoshop document, even if it's on the layer you're working on or on a different layer, this trick will work. So I hope that was helpful and happy coloring.